Hi guys, this is the first video of this channel to English speakers. Hi, my name is Nauber. I'm from Brazil. I am a data science scientist and I work with deep learning and artificial intelligence almost for the last six years. Uh, in my channel, I go into publish uh, vid vid videos in Portuguese language and in English, English language. Uh, so I, I learned English in the practice. So, so my pr pronunciation is not perfect. So sorry for any mistakes that I made. Uh, in this first video, I'm going to talk about diffusion models, how diffusion models can create machine learning models that can generate images uh, our people images of environments and how could we create image with diffusion i going to explain what is diffusion how diffusion works and how to you can implement a simple diffusion model i wish you like and i see you later this is the diffusion model architecture uh, the input of the test, the, the, the test is transformed into a numbers vector that we name it the embedded, the test embedded. And this is made from the frozen test encoder. Uh, the, after that, the, the test embedded is transformed for, to an image with the test to image diffusion model. Uh, in general, this image is a low resolution image and we need a super resolution diffusion model to create a more large image. It's like this works. Uh, diffusion is a process of particle information or our energy moving from a high concentration area to a lower concentration. It's something that's happened in physics, in the environment. Uh, this ha happened to reach the equilibrium where concentration becomes one far throat of the system. The diffusion mod models works for a single premise. You include noise in the image to, after that, remove the noise or to add noise to the image, destructing data or to destroy data. This is funny because uh, those don't means that is logical. Do you destroy data to create data? But first you destroy data. After that, to generate uh, data from from the the data that you destroyed, something like that. Uh, this is, this is a sample of images created by a diffusion model from tests to image. Uh, uh, so you have you have the frozen text encoder to transform test to test embedded, and after that to create an image of low resolution from that. With the low resolution model, you create after that a higher resolution image. Now you're going to use PyTorch to create in practice in hands-on our diffusion model. Okay, let's go. Hi guys, uh, the Stable Diffusion has a web interface and, and you can generate images by this web interface. Here you can choose the Stable Diffusion uh, model. You need to download the model and copy it to the model folder in the web interface. I'm going to uh, put the link in the describe of the video. And here you can choose the sampling method here and describe the image that you, you want. For example, realistic bat in cave. This is the first model of stable diffusion. So it's not a, a good high resolution model, but you can see here that the, the model generate an image. I'm going to put all the details for you to, to download this web interface and uh, turn on this or, or deploy this web interface and you can generate your images, okay? Here you have a Jupyter Notebook of Stable Diffusion and you can use Python. Uh, here I sh uh, sh uh, 
run NVIDIA SMI, and you can see you have a GPU here and the Kilder version. And here you can install diffusers and install transformers, SciPy, FTF, and accelerate. These uh, libraries are important to, to use stable diffusion. Uh, you're going to install the, this, all the libraries here. You can see. And now you're going to import Torch, uh, import stable diffusion pipeline from diffusers library. Here you're going to load the stable diffusion version 1.4 here and the torch the type is fluid uh, 16 this we use here uh, fluid 16 to uh, don't don't get a lot of memory uh, space uh, here you're going to download out the model and you're going to pipe to CUDA to use gpu uh, uh, board and you have a, a prompt here, a, a photograph of an astronaut ri riding a horse. And you're going to generate the image, save the image, and here are the image. Th this code is going to be available in the describe of the video. Okay. So, stable diffusion allows you to create uh, image in your machine, local machine. Uh, you need to have a GPU to do that, but you can generate image. And in the next video, I'm going to uh, teach you or to you learn how to generate image with your face using Stable Diffusion. Uh, I wish you liked the, the video and I need to you subscribe the channel because your support is very important to the health of the channel. Okay, uh, so, uh, Put in the comments uh, all improvements, uh, the things that I need to improve, uh, or something that we, some video or library that, that you want to see. Okay, uh, I I wish a good week for for you guys, and we see you in the next video. Oh, bye bye.